Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And you have to ask, are the SMP very, very slowly learning? This comes after the XL Bully reversal, where they did not want to change the rules because England did, simply because England did. They wanted to do that thing where we must create a grievance, we must have a difference at all times. And that's been ridiculed and pushed back on. And I think possibly they've finally realised that sometimes the ideas that come out are good ideas and should be adopted. They should not automatically be rejected simply because they came from Westminster. And I say that because already they are proposing to do something that's been proposed in Westminster to give the schools the powers to ban all mobile phones. Westminster are looking at that right now. And it seems that on reflection, the SNP have decided that perhaps it is a good idea and that they are going to adopt an idea that came from Westminster. But they're not going to do it months later as part of a U-turn. They're going to do it now. Unbelievable. These people are finally doing something that isn't stupid or going to be U-turned down the line after making a political stance on it. There's hope ever springing forth in my heart. I don't hold out much hope though. They'll probably cock up the laws and make it all completely awful. But at least it's a start. Let's have a look. So SNP to follow UK government in giving schools power to ban all mobile phones. I think it's an excellent idea. I think one of the problems with mobile phones uh, is that it reduces the ability to concentrate because everything's got to be in snap, snap, snap. And I found that um, recently, and I, I, I've, I've actually stopped. I almost immediately discovered what I was doing is I discovered shorts on YouTube. Now, I know they've been around for a while, but I've never deliberately not watched them because I know I have that addictive personality. And I caught myself the other night and I was, I was going pick, nick, nick, dip, 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 dip. And I'd wasted two hours of my life. And I went, that's it, I can't, I can't. Because I would be there. And you lose that ability to concentrate. And this can be seen quite easily, actually in the speech patterns of children, of young people. I would say anyone under maybe 30 would be uh, very much like this. And that is that they use filler words like, um, uh, well, you know, um, all the time. And that's because they cannot concentrate sufficiently long on a sentence to start the sentence, say what they mean and arrive at the end of the sentence without having to think halfway through. So they insert a filler word to try and cover that gap wherein they will think of what they're going to say next because their brains are so conditioned to short, sna you know, sh snappy, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Very edited, very edited uh, en entries and thoughts. There's no long concentration period. And this, of course, is a result of the way technology has grabbed them. It's not their fault. I'm not blaming them. I'm saying it's the way the world is now. If we can remove uh, phones from schools it may just bring that back i won't ever return it to where it was that's impossible but it may just lengthen the spirit the period of concentration sufficiently that some some stuff goes in i'm very worried i, I sat towards the end of days uh, um, where i was working young people would come in we'd be talking about, i would be astonished at the things they didn't know i'm not talking about esoteric stuff or anything very advanced in terms of what we were doing. I'm just talking about general general knowledge, really. General stuff you'd think everyone would know. Basic stuff. They hadn't got a clue. And I found it most worrying. Because not knowing this stuff will definitely put you back. And so, yes, I agree. Get the phones out of schools and get the kids learning. But it isn't just that, of course. There's, it's, it's the bullying. Because cyberbullying is a thing, particularly girls. Um, I do think and you can argue with me in the comments I think girls are more vicious when it comes to cyberbullying boys tend to be a bit fisty bang give you a thump or whatever girls are vicious when it comes to it and I think that's hard and if you take the phones out of school they, they, you, you get your period where there is none of that happening so 
So I think, who knows, who knows? The only other thing I would suggest, though, is if you remove phones from schools, and this is the other argument I'm going to have for it, is that you'd get an increased amount of um, vandalism and graffiti in the toilets. Because at the moment you go in, and we all do it, we all go in, we sit down. If we're, you know, if you're a chap and you're standing up, you don't have time. But if you're, if you're paying a sitting visit, as it were, put your phone out, don't you? Do and look through your phone. What you're not doing is bored writing something on the back of the door i've noticed that ever since mobile phones come out graffiti has gone from toilets there's no graffiti in toilets anymore very little anyway just finish it's not i'm not going in in this in depth you see because it is just the the, the the astonishment story here is not the story itself it's the fact that the smp are just straight away going yeah, yeah let's do it as well but we'll just cover it and get rid the scottish government is set to release new guidance in the coming months which includes powers for head teachers to ban the use of mobiles at schools to help with exam results and violence. And that's one of the things I meant, particularly girls and the vicious vindictiveness of which they, uh, they, are, they are particularly astute. The Scottish Government is set to follow Whitehall officials in outlining guidance to give head teachers in schools the power to ban mobile phones in a bid to cut down on bad behaviour. The UK Government announced a new policy on Monday, which gives the teachers a lawful way to prohibit the devices. Now the SNP executive confirmed it too is going to give similar powers to head teachers across the country from this spring. Well done. Finally, not making a political meal out of it. Uh, with ministers looking at publishing new guidance within weeks and setting out how this can happen, the details are still being worked out, including the personal circumstances of the pupils being taken into account. Sure, yeah, if you've got some pupil which uh, may be there may be special reasons as a carer, things like that. You've got to make allowances. It can't be a broad brush. There must be exceptions to every rule, but the general must be no phone. The ban could cover break and lunch times with this strict action happening in England due to grave concerns about people being distracted by the device and the link to online bullying. Uh, classroom aggression is also growing out of control in Scotland, definitely. And I've got a story which is probably going to be tomorrow now about the classroom aggression. So uh, do keep an eye out for that one. Um, that will come early tomorrow. Nine, might be the first one, might be the second one. It's going to be an early story, but anyway, we'll, we'll look at that. Uh, anyway, this is uh, this has been worked on to ensure... Uh, sorry, uh, we're getting back. With over 8 in 10 schools reporting violent aggression incidents every week. Teaching unions have said they want the guidance worked out to ensure mobiles can be banned from the classroom while also recognising that parents want them to be available for emergency use. Education Secretary Jenny Gilruth announced in December she was looking at bringing these rules in. Yeah, I mean, there are going to be exceptions in every case, and that's fine. You can have the exceptions, but the general rule must be no mobiles, no interruptions, anything like that. And I think it would vastly improve the education experience, the learning levels. It would vastly improve um, behaviour. And it's one of those things that definitely needs to look at the trouble is all this technology is new you've got a, the first generation have gone through with smartphones now and they are attached to them i i wasn't i couldn't i couldn't give two tosses about a phone uh my wife couldn't put hers down then um she upgraded and said look just take this for communication just in case i need to call you first mobile phone i ever had and it was in days i couldn't live without it it's like a drug <laughs> And you can't. We are so connected now. You cannot do anything without your phone. Although, uh, it does make me laugh. Do you remember when you were a kid uh, and you are doing your maths and I said, I'll just do it on the calculator. And the teacher used to say, oh, sometimes you'll be out there and you won't have a calculator with you. <laughs> always. Always. I'm coming up. I joke about having the phone. I mean, there was a point. I probably couldn't do it now, but there was a point. I could do differential calculus in my head. People, you know, I, I, a teacher wouldn't believe that. And then sat there and I just did, 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 did it in the head. I could never do uh, anything beyond that, just differential. Um, but it was, it was just the way I could see the numbers. And it worked. He was, he was very surprised. Very surprised I could do it. But it's just a knack. But it's like anything. Practice, isn't it? Practice. But um, yeah, these, these phones though, they are part and parcel of who people are now. And I think it will be a good idea on one hand, 
because it'll increase learning. But you know, the more I think about it, I think it would increase stress levels. It's a very, do you know, I started off this video thinking it was a good idea. And as I sit here now, I'm thinking it may not be a good idea because the stress levels in this generation who've lived with phones their whole life may be worse. Oh God, that's a hard one, isn't it? Let me know your thoughts in the, in the uh, comments. Anyway, I'll stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video. Till next time, stay safe, stay well, and I'll speak to you later.